essentially the advantages of histotripsy is its non-invasive nature. Patients that would normally not have options for treatment are now candidates for, for something that could change their life. So histotripsy is this amazing innovation in which sound is used to destroy tumors in the liver. So the patient comes to the preoperative area, has some discussion with both myself as well as the anesthesiologist. Once we do that, then we define the treatment characteristics. Then essentially we let the machine go. It's unique because it's non-invasive. Once that's done, basically we're finished. We do an ultrasound just to confirm that we see the changes that occur after histotripsy, remove the device, and then they go home. When we have patients with advanced stage cancers, you can perform radiation, you can perform chemotherapy, but surgery is kind of the stepchild that has to stay on the side. So with the advent of histotripsy, there's this opportunity to be able to think outside of the box. There's a typical standard way we take care of patients and we get to turn it on its side and, and take care of patients in a different way. Patients may have what we call post-ablation syndrome, which is kind of like a flu or malaise, sometimes a fever, for about 24 to 48 hours. After about 48 hours, many of them are just back to being able to do whatever they want to do. It's interesting when you, you talk about many of the patients that have advanced stage cancers, they've already undergone a lot of other procedures that have a lot of substantial side effects. Even if there is a side effect from this procedure, many of them say that this is well tolerated. One of the unique things about Providence Swedish Cancer Institute is that the delivery of care in this model allows us to use the most advanced type of technologies, yet we still focus on patient clinical care so that personal touch is what's unique compared to any other institution out there.